Did you know that we breathe about 17,000 quarts of air a day? That we take almost a thousand breaths every hour, 24,000 every day? Have you ever wondered what is in the air that we breathe? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to start by sharing with you what Secure Air's five critical air purification priorities are. First, we use particle control technology to make sure that we're removing particles and gases not just from a test chamber or from the ductwork, but from the occupied space. Second, we make sure that once we capture harmful pathogens, viruses and bacteria and so on, we destroy them, we inactivate them so that they can't reproduce. Next, there must be a capturing capability in order to control contaminants. Having an IAQ product that doesn't have a way to remove them from the space just doesn't make sense to me. Fourth, we're going to make sure that no additional byproducts are created that could negatively impact health. That's a bigger issue than you might have suspected. And fifth, we want to make sure that our technology and the product's functionality does not negatively impact the performance of the HVAC equipment or the air distribution system. So, what is in the air that you and your family are breathing? After this presentation, I think you'll look at your home a little bit differently. In every room of the house, there are things that are either creating dust, airborne particulates of some form, or they could be off-gassing adding to the chemical soup of VOCs that are in the home. There are two general categories to consider. One are the particles themselves, and second are the VOCs, or volatile organic compounds. We think of them as gases. There can be as many as 20 million particles per cubic foot in the air in your home. Think about that when you also consider breathing 17,000 quarts of air a day millions and millions of particulates in every breath. These particulates range from large, ones we can see, that would be at the right end of this scale, large household dust, all the way down to the finest particles that we can't see, including things that can cause illnesses like viruses and bacteria. Particles are measured in microns, and this is a good way to calibrate yourself with those. A large grain of pollen, the type that falls onto the hood of your car after you wash it, you can see it. It's about 100 microns in size. These are large particles. They're so heavy that they likely settle out of the air pretty quickly. They go all the way down to bacteria and viruses. Bacteria is relatively large, one micron. Viruses, a hundredth of a micron, and some even smaller. VOCs, volatile organic compounds, come from all sorts of sources in the home. They could come from the cleaning agents that we use, candles, could be um, off-gassing from clothing that you bring home. Every time you bring groceries home and you open things up, you're putting chemicals of some sort into the air. There are some 200 chemicals of different origins in a home, blending together like a chemical soup. Sometimes the particles in the VOCs together at sufficient concentrations could be toxic to our body. And of course the organ that's most sensitive to these things is the respiratory system or the lungs. These particulates and gases can get deep into the lungs. This graphic illustrates that the smaller the particle, the deeper into the lungs that the particle gets. Some particles are so small that they could be absorbed through the lungs into the bloodstream and find their way into any organ in the body, even your brain. Each individual is uniquely sensitive to different things. Some people suffer from an allergy and two others might not even feel a thing from it. So there's that to consider. What can you do about these things that are in the home? Well first is you can reduce what comes into your home by sealing the house. Home performance contractors have learned that we can prevent particulates from coming into the home by air sealing the attic and the walls and the windows. We can also reduce the pollutants by sealing ductwork, preventing infiltration through that source, or duct cleaning, coil cleaning, and blower cleaning. 
These are all things that we can do to reduce the contaminants that come into the home. And you can remove pollutants. You can use cooking fans, bathroom fans, or whole house ventilators. And then, of course, filtering. And when you do filter, inactivate things that can cause health problems. There is a solution to these problems, and Secure Air is committed to providing a whole house air quality solution that will enhance the health and wellness for all persons. We invite you to find out more.